We all know what South Africa needs. Another political party. And welcome back to Morning Shot. And with me today is Zelensky. Why Zelensky, mate? Basically, he just ripped off my sartorial elegance. Uh, I love green, especially dark green camo. It fits in well if you're hunting or hunting tangos. And uh, basically, I wore it first. And unfortunately, he's the one that, uh, you know, is on the cover of Vanity Fair in green t shirts. So people are calling me Zelensky for some reason which is nonsense because I've started it. You do tend to but, get a lot of Zelensky comments in the comment section, don't you? I do, I do. So first of all, I'm a, apparently like a Putin bro and now I'm Zelensky. Like, pick, pick your match, guys. Pick it, pick it properly. Anyway, speaking about starting a trend, Muslim um, Amani has started a political party and I am hugely in favor of this, ironically enough. Yeah, so this is the news last week out of uh, City Press that uh, apparently Musi has started up his own um, political party or will be adding or starting up a new political party. Uh, apparently this is now going to be, uh, the article does say it will now be 48 political parties on the ballot box, mate. So don't know what you think of that. Well, it's a lot of people. One. I started one in the past. We were party number 47 or something like that. It's very hard. I, I don't recommend anyone goes into it. But I think it is important that he starts one because, let's be honest, as we said on this channel, 2024 could be the make or break election. Looking at the polling, it's looking a bit less likely, but, you know, polls are still early. It's two years early. And no shit is going to continue forever, assuming ESCOM survives until 2024. So what you need is as many new actors into that political space that chips away at the ANC vote, right? Because I think there's a lot of good ANC voters who just can't vote for the DA for some reason. Mm. They need to vote for someone black. So they'll vote for Herman Mashaba, or they'll vote for Musi Mamane, or they'll vote, maybe not IFP, because they're not Zulus uh, for the most part. So as soon as you get a new entry into that political space that can take away votes from the ANC, even one or two percent, it could be huge come 2024. And I think Musi can hopefully do that. Yeah. So, I mean, I think all of us would like to see Musi succeed. Um, we obviously know his, his positions with the DA. Now, what's interesting about the political party is apparently he's going to be a, a uber right winger Christian type. Man, I can't wait for this. I really can't wait for this. The news headlines, if he if he is true to his word, ah, it's exciting times for us at Morning Shot. This is going to be great. So the ACDP, you're not the most base party in South Africa. Moosey's party is, perhaps, might be. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Talking of the ACDP, do you remember when uh, some prick out of the ACD went out there and helped to uh, vote out the uh, the speaker in Johannesburg? And we were like, oh, come on, Kenneth. We had such big hopes. And now your party is being a bunch of... <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, some news has come out as well. Came out last week that uh, apparently the ACDP axed the prick who... Uh, made this all happen. So I'm really glad to see that happen. Apparently the, the news came out, he sacked two of them. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, but they both voted against his wishes. I mean, this is, this is good news. Once again, we, we are looking at that opposition coalition who have an agreement in place after last year's local government election. They have an agreement. And that agreement is, you know, it's difficult, it's unwieldy sometimes, but they're sticking to it for the mm -hmm. most part. Uh, the DA just took over Nelson Mandela Bay with the help of the coalition as well, which yep. is huge. We've got an Afrikaans mayor in post-94 South Africa, which is massive. His name's Retief Ordendal, and um, we wish him the very best. But what you're finding is this opposition block, this coalition block with an agreement is seems to be winning. And the ACDP and the IFP are quite happy to chuck people out who don't go according to that particular agreement, which once yeah. again means the strength of that agreement. So coalitions are messy and dirty and all the rest of it, but it's looking very promising, at least in this aspect. It's good for the coalitions when their leaders are like, okay, you're the weakest link, so you're fired. Yeah. That's the best thing. And we've seen that with the IFP. 
Now we're seeing it with my boy, my boy Kenneth. And he's like, no, I'm getting rid of these guys. He says the party is committed to clean governance and wishes to affirm that all our leaders are expected to conduct themselves in an honorable, honest, and transparent manner. Thank you, Kenneth. Thank you for firing the satanic scumbags. So, yeah, it's good news for the coalition, isn't it? I mean, why they weren't your party in the first place? Um... We'll yeah, let's not talk about that. Aside. Yeah, let's not talk about that. But anyway, overall, the more entrance we can have to new political parties to form that opposition bloc under that coalition agreement, the better, right? Mm. So fundamentally, that's holding. We need new blood into there, new blood that can chip away at the ANC vote, bring the ANC under 50%, and hopefully the coalition can get 51% to fundamentally realign politics in South Africa. That's the hope. So you don't have to you don't have to love Musi, you don't have to love the ACDP, you don't have to love the Freedom From Plus or anything like that. Just know that if you really want to vote Freedom From Plus, you are voting for the realignment. Same with IFP. Same with, if, if you're voting for anyone except EFF, ANC, you're golden. Absolutely. So, so just pick what you like the best and vote for them. Except ANC and Absolutely. The ETF. Absolutely. Well, that, that's, it's interesting what's been said in some of the articles. Everybody's saying, oh, no one really wants to vote for the EFF because they deem to be in the same kind of boats now as the ANC in terms of their wishes, except the only difference is they've been seen to, been seen to be a more extreme version of it. So if you look at what the ANC is trying to achieve and then what the EFF are trying to achieve, it's the same thing. The only difference is that of timing. The EFF wants it now, ANC is like, we'll yeah. get it later. But other other than that, they're fundamentally the same party. Um, As we've been saying for the longest period of time, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So the split is between the hard commie left, which are devils, and then the saints, not really, <laughs> are the opposition coalition. <laughs> so the battle between good and evil is there. Choose good, always. And we need more good entrance into there as oh, much as possible i completely agree and it's very interesting actually um to see what may happen should this occur because nelson mandela bay gives us a good example of how a coalition may look if it all kind of goes together and that is they are messy they're not going to be kind of ironclad and one of the things that we are seeing though in the how should we say in the uh the environment where that occurs is we are seeing that they, they sometimes short lived. What do you think mm. of that? No, it's true, but you find them to be shorter lived without an underlying foundational agreement. And that's what the, the DA found out in 2016. That's what uh, the DA found out also in 2019 in some certain aspects. In 2021, the DA, the Freedom Front Plus, Action SA, IFP said, let's do it together. Under these conditions, which we all sign, it's our new testament of what we're going to do, and we're going to stick to it irrespective of what happens. Mm. And that is the fundamental difference. And that is truly something that can work rather than not. Instead of jockeying around for positions or walking like that, it's like, these are the principles, this is our agreement, this is my signature, we'll stick to it. And mm. if they stick to it, it's obviously much better, longer lasting, more impactful than if that, if that, agreement wasn't there in the first place yeah and i'm going to offer a cautionary tale to everybody um mm. and that is i'm going to play a quick clip and this is actually courtesy of uh, our friend ronaldo so thanks ronaldo all the way down in uh, my neighborhood kibiki we all know that you love kibiki with a with a sore heart which is why you uh, publicly say on twitter that you've got a backup plan to escape the country if uh, if something like this happens but uh I'm sure that goes against party politics, but oh well. Anyway, so this was a, an article. This was a, his view, which he shared with us, thankfully, on Twitter, where he effectively shows <laughs> the ANC and the EFF knowing that they're about to get voted out, and uh, so to stop that from occurring, they went out and they stole the ballot box. <laughs> They're like, oh, you can't vote us out if there's no ballot box. Let's destroy it. And uh, yeah, so there you go. That's what uh, I think you we can all expect to see when it starts getting to 2024. ANC is just going to, yeah. I don't know, steal the ballot box, mate. You can't count ballots if there aren't any ballots. Uh, but I mean, that clip sort of also demonstrates the complete lack of strategic 
thinking from the ANC and the EFF, right? They know they're going to lose. Now they're just making a clown show of it. Like no one likes that. People mm-hmm. still want a bit of respect, a bit of decorum, a bit of something, sincerity in the political process. I know that might seem a bit strange, but people actually do like that. So to me, it looks like ANC, EFF are sort of out of ideas, whereas the coalition is going from strength to strength. Let's hope those two trends carry on until 2024. And now we got a new entrance. This is a coalition, guys. Musi, 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 my money. Let's hope he does it, man. He could give us so many headlines of being a based Christian politician. I'm amped for it. I'm hoping it happens. What more is there to say, mate? Not much. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you tomorrow. Take it easy. Cheers.